Southgate in or Southgate out? Southgate out, mate. In for me. In. Completely in. Uh, Southgate out. Southgate in. Southgate in. Southgate out. He's um, made some pretty poor decisions, I think, over the last few matches, and um, not convinced about his decision to leave Trent Alexander-Arnold out. I think he's the, I think he's the third most suc uh, successful English manager of all time behind the, you know, Sir Ralph Ramsey. I think, at the end of the day, we just need to get behind the team. There's a media narrative going against the team. We do this every big tournament. We just need to be positive, stay with the team. I think he's done more for this England squad than any other manager would have done. And I think the progress that we've had over the last four years has been a lot more than we've had in 20 years. So I think he's had probably the easiest route in two, two finals, pretty much, and, and basically ruining both of them. Two negative, two defensive um, players being picked just on the name instead of actually being given a fair chance. Uh, who would you want to replace him out of interest? I'm not 100% sure. I'd probably throw someone to, to Pep Guardiola or Jose, maybe. Uh, Southgate in, definitely, 100%. Yeah, he's um, he got us to a semis and then a final. He's up, we're having a little bit of bad run, but he deserves some. He deserves a um, a chance to, to to prove himself again, doesn't he? Um, a lot of people say that he's too negative tactically. What do you make of that? I would I would agree with that. There are certain points that we need to um, we need to push on forward, but. He knows what he's doing. Like I say, we've got semi-finals and finals using his tactics, so he, he needs to be trusted. I think he's done his bit for the for the team now. Um, I think we got close in the Euros. Obviously, he came with 1-1 in the penalties, and I think it's time. He's sort of making the wrong decisions. I think he should have brought Trent into the squad tonight, and I, yeah, I just feel like it's time for him to go. Southgate in for the World Cup, and then we'll see. What would you say to his critics about recent results and his negative, supposedly negative tactics? Um, I think when we look at a year ago, like we were singing, best thing that happened to us, I think we've had a little bit of a bad run. I think when you look at the players you've got available, I think we can turn it around quite easily. Yeah, I think he could be a bit more progressive. Um, I don't think we need the double pivot, the sort of Rice and Phillips mould anymore. I think it's probably slightly outdated for this team. I think he can be a bit more forward thinking. I don't think there's many managers that could replace him at this current moment that would offer something different. So I think. You know, he, he's done what he had to do. I know that it was probably an easy run for the two tournaments, but he got to a semi-final and a final, so you've got to respect it. I think we can get more attacking talent on the pitch, definitely. But um, listen, I think for tournaments, it works. It's tournament football, so you're right in the Nations League. It doesn't look as good, but actually, I think for the tournament, I could see him getting a result, to be honest. So we'll have to wait and see. Same, we have good games, bad games. You know, last summer was, was unforget unforgettable with the Euros. Um, It'd be harsh to, to, to jib him off at this point. He's, he's done nothing wrong. Yes, results could have been better, but him as a person couldn't have done anything better. Do you take Maguire to the World Cup? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, I would. I would just because of how good he is for England. I'd take him to be around the dressing room, but people like Tamori have got to be given a chance. You know, he's just won Syria with AC Milan and he's not even getting a, a, a look in. Harry Maguire got in the tournament, a uh, team of the tournament in the Euros. Look, he's, he's in poor club form, but he's always done it in England shirt. He was our best defender at the Euros. There's no reason why he can't come in and, you know, fulfill a role, facilitate a back three like we have been doing. Harry Maguire has to start for us. Would you take Maguire to the World Cup? No, I wouldn't. No, absolutely not. He hasn't performed for two years. I don't know why he's in the squad. Some people are saying, you know, he's done well for us before. He's a leader. Yeah, but when Southgate took the job on, he was... We pick players based on form, not on reputation. I think he's a key member to the team. Um, I, I was speaking to him about it. I'm not sure if he starts for me, but I think realistically, um, yeah, he's one of those players that definitely makes the play. He's got tournament experience, so you've you got to take him, really. Personally, I think he's pony. <laughs> I think he should just be dropped out of football, to be honest with you. Who would you start at centre-back, Alvin? I don't even know. Don't say Eric Dyer. I probably would over Maguire any day. I'd, I'd play. I'd play. Personally, I'd play a five. I'd play Walker, Walker, Maguire, Stones. Uh, I think he's overrated, to be honest. Um, I think he had um, a good run of form um, a few years ago, uh, but he's not good enough to be in this English, England setup. So, would you take Maguire to the tournament? I mean, experience you take him, but you know, in the squad, but. Like I said, a World Cup, you need to take players who are in form because as soon as play, England are terrible for it, we get on we get on their back straight away. Um, I'm on Southgate's back straight away. So, yeah. I think that's probably the issue, to be honest. I think that the, the, the lack of talent in that particular position um, 
in, in England is probably the reason why he's in the squad. Yeah, you've got to pick people on form and people who are playing week in, week out for their, for their clubs. You can't just keep picking them based on their name. Uh, Centre-back who's on form instead of Aguirre. Yeah, instead of Oh, uh, and Smalling, he's doing wonders in it. Smalling back in. Yeah, literally, like, he's 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 smashing it in Italy. So why don't we give him a chance? Like he should have played against Italy because like, he knows those players. No, I, I wouldn't. Um, I think he's a great player, but I think the, the stick that he's got at the minute, I think it's getting in his head a little bit, and I think he just. I, th I think the best thing for him would be to step away from the spotlight just for that little bit of time, just to regroup. No, I was in. Well, I think Ben White should be in there. I think that's a huge sort of overlook, massively. He's been overlooked massively there. And Mark Gehi. Um, you know, uh, and so I think some people are very unlucky to miss out on current form. I get that, you know, he's got his people that he thinks can, you know, from a leadership point of view, take but responsibility or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, you may be in the squad and not starting the games, but. Yeah, I think people like White and Gehi are unlucky to miss out, to be honest. Would you have Maguire in this squad? Oh, especially tonight with, with maybe Werner who could come on as well. Up front, with the pace, like, with the speed, I can't see like, Maguire Dyer catching up with them. So. Would you have Maguire in the team for the World Cup? The problem is with Maguire, he's not playing recently, but he's a regular for the England team, he was a regular for Man United, and also he did... He was a key player at the World Cup and the Euro. I mean, yeah, at the Euros as well. So, I mean, I see why Salgate's sticking with him. However, he's got to be playing. If he doesn't play, I would not. I would maybe. I'd still take him to Euro because he's a key player. But you'd have to think about if he starts. At the minute, I'd still start him because he's a leader of the England team. But if he continues to sit on the bench at Man United, then that's a. You have to think about it because you can't be. You can't be playing. You can't not be playing players that don't play for the club. Um, would you take Maguire to the World Cup? <laughs> I wouldn't take him anywhere. <laughs> but again, though, who have you got to replace him? That, that's the trouble. So they're all under pressure. I know they say, oh, this is only a, a, a nation's game, a league game, but they're playing for their future uh, to the World Cup. You just want to see a bit more fight against them, a bit more intensity, which they're not doing at the moment and they haven't done for a while. Last question, is it coming home? Of course it's coming home. Let's of course it's coming home. <laughs> of course it's coming home. Of course it's coming home. I love this, all this slander. <laughs> and then you... Yeah. <laughs> it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, football's coming home.